There's family, there's friends, and then there's an inner circle. Now that inner circle are the people who are going in the direction that you are going. These are the people that will hold you accountable, knowing that you are walking in the path of the Lord. And so they are not afraid to call you out on things or inform you of the ways of the Lord. It is unhealthy to be friends with people who will encourage you to go in the opposite direction of the Lord. I'm gonna give you a quick story. I can remember, you know, God has opened my eyes about so much around me and so much that is happening in this world. And so when God gave me their revelation, he also showed me the places in my life where I was lukewarm. So instead of sitting up there in denial, I accepted it. I accepted the message that God was giving me was that I needed to change some of my ways and that I needed to deliver, that I needed to take some things out of my life. And I was obedient. But in that comes a lot of excitement. And so sometimes the friends that you have may not be ready for the change that God is doing in your life. And so I can remember one time I told a friend that, you know, I was lukewarm and different things and how God is changing me. He's transforming my life. And their response was, well, I wouldn't say that you were lukewarm. And it was at that moment when I knew that, hey, I will always love you. I will always be here for you, but you cannot be in my inner circle. And the reason for that is because I am trying to grow and I don't need anyone. I don't want to conform to anyone's way that is not going in the direction of the Lord. I received that as a blocker. And the reason why is because it's important that we have friends around us that's going to say, yes, if your goal is going in the direction of the Lord, then yes, you should clean this up. You should not do this, not do that. But oftentimes, sometimes people are not ready to change. And so in that, they've become comfortable in the life that they are living. I knew that that's not what I wanted for me. And I knew that that wasn't what the Lord wanted for me. And so the Lord opened my eyes to your inner circle just may need to change because you want people that are striving and going in the same direction as you. And that direction is the way of the Lord. Everything that I do needs to be glorifying the Lord. Now, you know, some people may get the awakening sooner than others or later. That's fine. But where I am in my life, I had to make the decision to distance myself only in order for me to be able to see and hear what I needed to so that I can grow and continue on the godly assignment that the Lord has for my life. I just felt like, wow, like I don't want, you know, I love everybody. I love all my friends. Like I said, that doesn't mean end friendships and never talk to people again, but it is an eye opener to who is going in the direction that you are striving for and where people's hearts are in that moment. And I knew that it would be unhealthy for me to keep an inner circle of people who are still who still have the veil over their face. Because then I might slip back into, you know, um, certain things and having a carnal mind about certain things. And that's not who I want to be. I want to grow and I want to allow the Lord to transform me to the woman that he has always intended for me to be since birth. I know I'm not the only one that has gone through this. It's a stretching. God is stretching you. And in a stretching season, some of your friends are going to have to change. That inner circle is going to have to change because a lot of times we give too much energy. And if a person is not in a place to be able to encourage you, help you, then you'll just end up going backwards and you'll end up conforming to those old ways again. And we don't want that. And it's not intentional. Sometimes it's just a growth thing. A person is just not to a certain understanding yet or to a certain space in their life. And so it calls for a separation. Could be temporary, could be forever. Who knows? A lot of times, People have spirits on them and they're not even aware of it, but 
I'm aware of it. So if you're steady growing and you notice that friends are not too receiving of it or their energy change, hey, sometimes they'll even distance themselves from you. So you don't even have to say, oh no, I ain't, you know, you don't even have to do all of that because naturally the Lord will distance you guys in order to grow to where it is that you need to grow to. And then he will bless you to meet new people who are going in the direction that you are going in. And um, I remember a long time ago, I used to say, it's so hard once you become an adult, it's hard to make new friends. But I cast out that energy too, because it is possible to make new friends. You just have to allow the spirit to lead you and have discernment on why people are actually in your life. And this goes for family too. Sometimes you have to distance yourself from family because family don't even understand the godly assignment that you are on. Where God has taken me, I'm just not the same person. I'm not the same person as two years ago, one year ago, even a month ago. I am steady changing every day. The way I view things, I'm constantly in prayer, constantly repenting, constantly asking God to open my eyes to things and give me revelation. So if I say to you that I was lukewarm and I'm trying to change and and you're trying to make me believe that I was not lukewarm after I've already received a revelation from the Lord that I was, then that's a, ooh, I need to take a step back. I love you, but uh, you know, I want everything that God has for me and I don't want nobody, I mean nobody, family, friends, nobody to hold me back from receiving all of it. I want it all. And some people that may hurt their feelings, but it should never hurt your feelings when you know someone is truly on a godly assignment. So everything that God tells me to do, I'm gonna be obedient in Jesus' name.